and this is the Nature Bar Ric Flair. Woo! And we are listening to all Urban Central looking as only we can look. Woo! 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 woo. Hey, X World, it's me, yours truly. Just want to take a moment to uh, send my condolences to the family of uh, Carl Weathers. Uh, you would know him as Apollo Creed from the from the Rocky movies. Uh, you know, I first met Carl on the football field. I think I was a rookie, and we were playing in Oakland, and I was doing warm-ups, and he ran up to me. I guess he was playing linebacker for the Raiders at the time, or trying to make the team. And he told me, you know, introduced himself. He told me he was an actor, and uh, you know, wanted to talk to me about it. Uh, I had my uh, trainer uh, give him my phone number, and we talked once in a while, but not that much. He almost immediately went on to have success as an actor, and of course, uh, playing that Apollo Creed character. Uh, I was saddened to just hear that Carl Weathers passed away today at 76. Uh, I'd known Carl since Rocky One and all through the other movies I did. I thought he was extraordinary in Rocky One. I thought he should have been nominated for Best Supporting Actor. And he had a good career. He was a good friend. And uh, in the Stallone family, we were all saddened to hear that. He was taken too young. He was always in tip top shape. And he was a nice guy and I considered him a friend. And my condolences go out to uh, his family. I know he had a bunch of kids and, uh, and Everyone in the Weathers family, my condolences goes out to. And uh, it's just a sad thing. So, folks, enjoy every day of your life and be thankful because you never know. And it's just a sad day for us. You know, sad day for us. Peace. <laughs> You guys understand this is action jack wait a minute hold on this is chubbs peterson right now okay all i'm gonna tell you is it's all in the hips just remember that it's all in the hips hey what happened with that alligator man the alligator bit my damn hand off <laughs> and i was reaching down to get my ball just thinking i was gonna make sure i hit par on that one at least even if i hit a birdie i was still in good shape but the damn alligator bit my hand off and here i'm all these years later one-handed so what where's happy now oh man happy is well <clears throat> He wound up walking down into a trap to pick up his ball, and there happened to be a moccasin <laughs> in the trap. And uh, needless to say, Happy was bitten, and uh, he and the moccasin are, well, they're both sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Hey, real quick, who you got, Happy or Shooter? Are you kidding me? Why would I choose Shooter? <laughs>
Shooter can't compete with Happy, especially after Chubbs told him it's all in the hips. There it so is. Just, just tap it in. There it is. Just tap it in. I gotta tell you, you seeing the the growth of uh come on, what are you doing here? What's the matter with you? You have no place to go? From, from all of us on the Mandalorian, we appreciate you. Uh, I want to see what uh, the Titan's made of. Yeah, I want to see how tough the Titan really is. If the Titan isn't tough, I'm going to be very disappointed. He better be tough. And you're, you're, you're seasoned with action, uh, so, I, I like so you are the right critic. I like tough, big monsters, and I want Titan to be as tough and as big as they come. So if you could only pick two other celebrities to help you fight a Titan, who would you pick? Oh, wow. Two celebrities to help me fight the Titan. Uh, Angelina Jolie. Because I think he'd, he, you know, he'd probably let his guard down if he saw Angelina Jolie. <laughs> and, Harry ba and Halle Berry. Those Smart move, two, yeah. Those two could help me fight the Titan. I want to see an action movie with all three of you now. I'd like that, too. <laughs> well, now it's time for our time machine question. If you could travel back in time and give one piece of advice to your teen self, what would it be? To my teen self? Yep. Slow down. It'll be here soon enough. <laughs> Teens want to know. But also, I mean, for me, the memories are things like... Uh, because I love the directing, uh, working with Chris, who uh, is so really magnificent in that, that, that really tough to move in costume that he designed, you know, uh, as this robotic kind of character. Uh, so there's fun in that and seeing what, how inventive he is with not only the design, but his performance. And then specifically, I remember when I met Katie for the first time as I'm directing, just seeing how she moved with this character and created this kind of persona in this character, you know, that you can't imagine until you see the actor come to life. And so for me, those are the moments that I really love, the moments where it's just happening, that it's not something you necessarily prepared for or can have prepared for and seeing these really uh, inventive, creative, dedicated people who just love what they do. So those moments are the moments that just sparkle.